Turning to another story, the presidential candidate of Social Democratic Party, SDP, Prince Adewale Adebayo, has met with the national leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria to interact on his plans for the country and the Christian community. Adebayo reiterated his five points agenda as he spoke on key aspects of his manifesto. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obion, his part spoke about plans for the country. Benedict again has more on the support. Less than 100 days to the 2023 general election, the national leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria has engaged presidential candidates of the political parties. At the interactive session today in Abuja, the presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party, Prince Adewale Adebayo, spoke on key aspects of his manifestos. Adebayo stressed the need for implementation of plans rather than designing alone. All these ideas that Khan has enunciated, if you look at the Social Democratic Party manifesto, which the latest of which has been in existence in 2018, it's as if the headquarters of SDP is somewhere around the Khan headquarters. Just like we promised 30 years ago, we will address poverty. Because as a person who comes from a family of clergymen, I know that when people are hungry, they go to the church. When people want to pay their share school fees, they go to the church. When people come and say, my daughter is sick, pray for me, they don't want to pray for them only. They will tell you when they are going that they haven't paid the medical bill. So we must give you a government that complies with chapter two of our constitution, that uses the resources God has given to Nigeria to bless the people of Nigeria by investing in food, security, in housing and habitat, in education, in healthcare, in employment and infrastructure. Further speaking, Adebayo told the Khan leadership that his decision to vie for the nation's top job is in line with Khan's vision for Nigeria. We will unite this country. We will do justice to everyone. And we will ensure that when all these ideas are to be canvassed, either in National Assembly or other forum, we will endorse this support it and ensure that when the bill is brought before us, we will sign it without delay. The battle for leadership in Nigeria has its own spiritual dimension, and that is where you will pray for us rather than joining us in our political mathematics so that you can guide us and God will speak to you kind of leadership. Any institution, educational institution is in jeopardy, and the government casts the first stone and we will start to repair the house of God called Nigeria from the government. The Khan president, Reverend Daniel Oko, reiterated that Khan's interest is for all presidential candidates to clearly understand the concerns of Nigerian Christians and propose policy and programs to address those concerns. The idea of this interaction is to come together to review our understanding of the Nigerian crisis of development and governance and collectively find a lasting solution. Our interest is that all candidates clearly understand the concerns of Nigerian Christians and propose policies and programs to address those concerns. We believe that with this kind of respectful and sincere conversation, we will find lasting solutions to these crises. The Labour Party candidate Peter Obi also addressed salient issues raised by the Khan leadership. We must stop corruption. Corruption kills entrepreneurship. It kills professionalism. How do you tell a professor in a university to do research to become a professor? When a talk many lives like a star. You can't. We must reward hard work. We must reward talent. That's how societies progress. One thing I can assure you is that there's so many papers like this packed somewhere. What we need now is implementation of it. And I, 
is committed to implementation of it. I'm not going to give a school. The job of a leader is not to give a school. I'm not going to complain. It's not the job of a leader. And I will remind Nigerians of their past. As more candidates interact at various forums, it is important to weigh their ideas and antecedents to make the right decision come 2023.